Hi and welcome to Low Content Japanese Puzzle Resources. I'm your coach Ron Pumfleet. In this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to generate and create the Japanese puzzles uh, utilizing the Crossword Express software. So I'm only going to do one demo on how to do the puzzles because you can use this for creating uh, any of the other um, puzzles except the word search, word scramble and crosswords. Those are totally different and I'll do a video on those at a later stage. Okay, so without further ado, let's go open up the software. So your folder should look exactly the same as uh, mine here when you've uh, extracted and installed uh, the software. So uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, creating the Sudoku templates which look like okay that's not going to show as much let's do this yeah. so these are uh, templates they, okay so when you start uh, building the puzzles uh, it actually creates a, a template inside the uh, Sudoku folder so it'll actually be in here they will look similar to this um, now that won't create the so that won't create the PNG images or the JPEG images. Uh, actually, the software I prefer using JPEG to actually generate uh, the puzzle so that we can get a good quality uh, 300 DPI for shrinking down later into our puzzle book. All right. So now that I've showed you that, let's go into the actual software. And we're going to go and select Sudoku and we're going to click on and go. Now we'll go up to build, start a new puzzle. Now in the um, video you may or may not have watched on how to brand your puzzles, uh, what we can do now is uh, change the file name. So we can actually make this one. The puzzle name, uh, you can you can use the puzzle name if you like and go and put Sudoku. I'll show you how to uh, utilize all this later. Saker and Fleet, that's my um, pen name. You can do a copyright if you like. Puzzle number, I do this real strange ass uh, numbering here because um, this is actually software created for people to do these type of puzzles for uh, newspaper groups not for what we are going to be do, using them for creating uh, puzzle books for KDP okay so once you've got all this in here and you're quite happy that's what you want in there then we'll click OK I'm going to come down and go to build options we're going to leave the symbol set as one, 1 to 9 because uh, that's we're going to create a numerical uh, Sudoku now for this for the sake of the sample of the demo we're going to just do difficulty one we're going to do 200 puzzles because you're not going to sit here and, and watch me doing all that because um, that'd be like watching paint dry so I've changed the puzzle number to be 100101 uh, it's still in the date format, but it's a lot easier to control when we're actually doing things a bit later. Okay, so now we click on OK. Go up to Build, and we're going to just start building the puzzles. And you'll see that there's our template. Okay, it's, it hasn't created the puzzles yet. We've got to do that once we've created our 200. Oh, well, there you go. That was really quick. Right, so we're now going to click on OK. So what we need, need to do with these is we go through to um, Tasks, click on Print This Puzzle. That'll bring up this um, dialog box here. Now, I've already created some uh, templates in here as well for creating my uh, puzzles. And I have in here somewhere, wherever it is, uh, puzzle, no, solutions three clues, oh, must be on a different um, 
computer. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just use a puzzle. Because at this stage we don't need anything else other than just puzzle. And we're going to go into view, print on uh, display print preview. And there's the preview of the uh, PNG image that will be printed out uh, once I show you how, how to get there as well. So what I like to do here is uh, keep everything, um, let's go back to layout. So we have the left one, top one. You can make this whatever you like, uh, 200 by 200. 400 by 400, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just leave it at 200 by 200 because it's what I do. <laughs> now you can you can actually save this. If you change these, um, if you change anything in here, then um, save as layout as rather than just saving the layout because then you'll actually overwrite whatever the default was there. Okay, so now that we're happy with this, we're going to go to Tasks, Export, and this is where the uh, the PNGs actually get created. So we've got 200 puzzles. The first puzzle number was 100001. Um, here we, we can actually, if you don't want to have a PNG, you can actually do JPEG, GIF, or whatever. I prefer uh, PNG. And then we'll just um, click on export. But before I do that, the software, for some reason, won't uh, save it anywhere else but in the main folder of Crossword Express. So just telling you now. So when we click on export, I'm going to come up here and, and just save it. Just click yes. And there you'll see it taking off and creating the uh, puzzles for you. Now these got those long numbers. They won't work inside the puzzle book uh, compiler software. Once these are finished generating, um, we're gonna go in, going to go and save them in a special folder so that we can come back to that, we'll come back to those folders and use the Faststone uh, software to renumber these and then we're going to be good good to go with the puzzle book creator software all right so i'm just going to pause this while this creates the 200 puzzles and i'll be back when it's finished okay so the 200 puzzles have been created what we need to do now is move these uh, out of this um, folder here uh, because if we actually start doing the solutions, it will actually just overwrite with the numbers. So what we're going to do is, uh, I've already highlighted them all. I'm going to click on um, to remove. I'm actually, just for the sake of this, uh, no, actually I won't. I'm going to go to my puzzle folder. And where is it? Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. There it is. And I'm going to go into my Sudoku um, and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to put demo uh, level one and inside demo level one we're going to create a folder called uh, puzzles and then we're going to create another one called Solutions. This will all become totally clear in a moment. Right, so now we're going to add all those uh, puzzles in there, which it's done. Now we're going to go back to where we were with the software, crossword software. Where did you go? Do -do 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 -do. Ah, there it is. Right. So now, that's the puzzles. So we cancel this. We now go into here and we select solution. Oh, there it said solution 200 wide. I've already done that for the solution. And we've got solution here. Okay, so we're going to be doing the solution here now. And I've already... Uh, uh, save this template solution 200 wide 
uh, and then the layout item is just solution. I'm going to, going to go and preview it. That looks good to me, so we're now going to export it. There's going to be 200 of these babies, and we change the numbering back to my weird 1001.01, and we click on export and save, and it'll start creating them in the same place where the puzzles were with the same numbers. So that's why we had to shift them out of this folder. So we'll come back when it's done its 200. Right, now we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did before with the puzzles. We're going to do it with the solutions. So we're going to highlight everything and we're going to, yes, thank you. <laughs> we're going to cut and we're going to go back to our assets and puzzles folder and wherever it is. Assets, puzzles, yeah boy. And we're going to go to the Sudoku. There it is. And we're going to go to our demo level one. And we're going to put the solutions into that folder. That's your uh, puzzles done and dusted for the solutions and the uh, puzzles. So. Uh, this is getting to be quite a long video, but I do I do want to put in the uh, fast stone software for doing uh, converting those numbers back to, to one to two hundred. Uh, you can get the fast stone software from faststone.org. I think it is. Bear with me. I'm just going to go. Yes, it is faststone.org. And you want to get the uh, Fastone Photo res uh, Resizer 4.3. It's freeware, uh, which is a, another bonus. So now we're going to go back into the software. And we need to reduce it down so I can bring it back inside the video. And what we're going to do here now is we're going to go and find that folder and we want to do it on rename so this is the quickest way come into here come in here thank you take that put it in here click enter add all go down here we want to rename and we're going to be renumbering for one, so it's just template with the pound and one. And it's going to be just override all of these and rename them. So, yes, I want to do that. And there you are. So, we'll go and have a look in the folder. And there we are. It's all changed from those weird ass numbers to one to 100. So, now we want to do the same with the solutions. So, let me just highlight that part of that, bring it out, and there's the solutions. And then we're going to add them all. And we're going to rename. And that's fantastic. Now that we've got uh, all the uh, numbering of the, you know, from 1 to 200 for the solutions as well. So now that's going to work perfectly in the Puzzle Book Compiler software. So that's the end of this video. I'll come back with uh, one on the Puzzle Book Compiler in a moment. So I'm Ron Pumfleet. I'm your coach and I'm out of here. Catch you later. Bye for now.